welcome to all. In this module, we are going to discuss the integrated logistics management in a supply chain. Let us have an introduction to supply chain. Supply chain management is the set of activities involved in the process of efficiently integrating the suppliers, manufacturers, warehouses and stores. Supply chain distributes the products manufactured to the right destination in the required quantities at the right time in order to minimize the total cost of supply chain as well as satisfy the service level requirements of each and every member in the supply chain to meet the expectations of the customer. The learning objectives of this module are to have an understanding of the concept of integrated logistics system, to understand the activities of integrated logistics system, to discuss the barriers of integrated logistics system, to discuss the factors affecting integration of supply chain. The learning outcomes of this module are an understanding of the importance of integrated logistics system in a supply chain, an understanding of the activities of the integrated logistics system and its components, an understanding of the obstacles to integration of the supply chain, an analysis of the factors for improving the integration of the supply chain. Introduction. Supply chain integration is the process of coordinating various activities across the supply chain which includes procurement, manufacturing, distribution, inventory management, transportation, warehousing and customer satisfaction from the raw material stage to the finished goods stage and to the end customers. Integrated logistics management system. Integrated logistics management system is an interface between the procurement, manufacturing and the distribution function of the logistics function to achieve the basic objectives of logistics to provide better customer service at the lowest possible cost. Integrated logistics management is the process of anticipating customer needs and wants, acquiring the capital, materials, people, technologies and information necessary to meet these requirements and the wants of the customer. The objectives of integrated logistics function. The objectives are to provide better customer service at the lowest cost, to ensure higher productivity among the members of the supply chain, to avoid duplication of logistics activity by better coordination among the members of the supply chain, to monitor the imp and improve the existing logistics system continuously for improving the efficiency of the logistics system. In integrated logistics management, coordination is brought into various activities relating to procurement of materials, inventory flow and physical distribution of materials across the supply chain from the supplier point to the customer point through manufacturing to the market to satisfy the expectation of the customer. Hence, integrated logistics management system is referred to the set of activities relating to storage and flow of materials, information and control system in a cost effective manner. If you look at the diagram, the relationship of the logistics management system is evident. In an integrated logistics system, the flow of information happens in both directions. The backward inter information flow provides information about the customers, their requirements, hyphen customer orders, quality specification, quality feedback, procurement quality, production and dispatch planning to facilitate the coordination across the supply chain. This information helps in defining and manufacturing quantity, mercantizing and purchase requirements down the supply chain. The forward information flow provides information such as availability of products, order processing, distribution schedule, time of delivery, quality assurance reports and warranty details across the supply chain. Inventory flow 
happens in the forward direction across the supply chain. During this process of flow, value addition takes place to meet the requirements of the customer at the required time. Hence, the integrated logistics process focuses on two interrelated activities, information flow and inventory flow across the supply chain. All the members of the supply chain are expected to work together to achieve the objective of meeting the expectation of the customer at the required time at the lowest cost. Let us now discuss about the impact of inventory flow in integrated logistics system. The logistics operation starts from the shipment of raw materials and parts from the supplier to the manufacturer for processing to produce products needed by the customers which are to be delivered at the required time. As the inventory flows, the material gains value at every step of the transformation process till it becomes the finished goods inventory. The inventory flow comprises procurement, manufacturing support and physical distribution. Let us now look into the impact of information flow in integrated logistics system. Information flow happens across the supply chain in both directions to enhance the performance of the supply chain. This integrates the process of procurement, manufacturing and physical distribution of the materials to satisfy the requirements of products to different locations at the required time along the supply chain. The key aspect of information flow is to get the right information from the source and communicate them effectively to the members of the supply chain. Accurate information helps the members of the supply chain to plan and meet the supply chain requirements efficiently. In this edition, we have discussed the concept of integrated logistics system and its components in a supply chain. In the next edition, we will discuss the different activities of the integrated logistics system in a supply chain. Thank you.